in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it is only when we win together that we truly won. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I appreciate the honor, the love, the hospitality. Um, there is nothing in ourselves aside from that which God has done. You see, when you remove the God factor, we are not much. The reason why we are all that we are and we do what we do is because of His grace. Hallelujah. We'll have a brief session this morning. Like I promised, it will be a time when I'll be praying over our needs to wrap up this conference. And so let our hearts be open because God is visiting us in Jesus' name. Can you lift your hands to heaven and ask the Lord for an encounter? There are people outside, so many of them, wherever you are, release your faith and ask the Lord to give you a visitation. Are you talking to Jesus? The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Help us this morning, and to you be all the glory. In Jesus' name. Please be seated. Let me do a five or ten minutes recap of um, our session yesterday the Lord began to deal with us yesterday from the book of Acts chapter 6 if you remember particularly verse 4 the Bible says the Apostles said we will give ourselves continually to the ministry to prayer and the ministry of the word and I took the teaching yesterday from that angle. They showed us in that single verse the secret to a sustainable spiritual growth, a life of dexterity and stature that it is derived from giving yourself continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And we did discuss yesterday how that we're not given the liberty in the kingdom to choose the ministry of prayer or the ministry of the word that both of them are important for the overall growth of the believer we identified a an error within the body of Christ where we have a group of people who choose the ministry of prayer as the only and the ultimate basis for their spiritual experience while others choose the ministry of the word alone and we did identify that that is not supposed to be that it is the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word in synergy together that produces a matured believer are we together and we also looked at first corinthians 1 and verse 24 we said from the ministry of prayer there is a kind of anointing that is derived from that ministry and from the ministry of the word there is a kind of anointing both ministries release a certain kind of engracing that from the ministry of prayer the anointing is revealed as the power of God and from the ministry of the word the anointing is revealed as the wisdom of God it says but to those who are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and Christ the wisdom of God 
that the power of God can make for possibilities to happen in your life but if that is all you have the engracing that comes through the prayer ministry you will not be able to understand the patterns and the systemic nature of God you will never be able to build anything that lasts this is the reason why there are many zealous people who are people of prayer with lots of spiritual power but most of them do not have character they do not have that stature they are not able to build anything of economic value of sociological value are we together because it is within the office of the ministry of the word to administer wisdom and the bible says a house is built through wisdom and that by understanding it is established through knowledge the house is filled with all kinds of treasures and resources so that if Gombe State is going to be built in a way that brings glory to the name of the Lord, then like the early church, like the apostles, you must give yourself continually to prayer and give yourself continually to the ministry of the word. Deriving from the ministry of prayer, the anointing revealed as the power of God. Deriving from the ministry of the word, the anointing revealed as the wisdom of God. Are we together having the prayer ministry without the ministry of the word will not bring economic development to a territory would not bring sociological development to a territory it is the reason why in most regions the church is viewed as a nuisance to civilization because all that happens largely is just shouting and prayer without any corresponding there is no there is no sociological advantage to that spiritual experience and so that in addition to the prayer ministry we must with the same gravity subscribe to doctrine soundness of scripture he says and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation acts 20 and verse 32 says and now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified Colossians 1 and verse 9 Paul was praying over the church in Colossae and he bowed his knees to our father that he may grant them the grace to be filled with the knowledge of his will to be filled with all the dimensions of wisdom and to be filled with spiritual understanding hallelujah and I did say also that there are people who have submitted themselves to the ministry of the word but have ignored the power of prayer together with its corresponding sacrifices like fasting and so on and so forth and to such people you find out that their lives just become full of truthful spiritual propositions without the engracing to perform and to defend the things they know ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth they become like the fig tree that had green leaves and lured even jesus there and he came there and did not find any fruit hallelujah it is god's desire for us as individuals as a church and as a region to give ourselves continually to prayer and to give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word I didn't have the time to show you what is contained in the ministry of the word and what is contained in prayer but I did say yesterday that God in dealing with his people is limited by the provisions that scripture allows scripture is the jurisdiction of god's commitment to the believer that means god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions of scripture the only way to commit god is to find a scriptural basis for that commitment hallelujah it's very important the word of god is a compendium of the wisdom of god um Biblically, there are four ways that we know God as revealed in Scripture. The first way we know God is through Scripture. Scripture reveals the character of God. 
scripture reveals the modus operandi the principles of the kingdom we call it the mysteries of the kingdom matthew 13 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom so when you engage with the word of god it takes away spiritual ignorance from your life so that you are fortified like a city through knowledge hallelujah you learn the character of god when you study scripture you understand the boundary and the basis for committing god to the affairs of your life but when you come to the ministry of prayer the ministry of prayer has its own jurisdiction there are four four assignments of prayer in the life of the believers revealed from scripture the first and the highest assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is as a tool for transformation the bible says and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment became white and glistering speaking about jesus so the primary assignment of prayer is not just as a tool for petitions we are changed in prayer we are transformed into superior spiritual versions of ourselves a weak you can become a strong you in prayer a timid you can become a powerful you in prayer a carnal you can become a spiritual you in prayer the second assignment of prayer as revealed from scripture is as a platform for obtaining promises and for making petitions the bible says to be anxious for not in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 i'm just doing a recap it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god are we together mark 11 24 verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it first thessalonians 5 17 the bible says to pray without ceasing to pray without ceasing james 5 13 apostle james was mentoring the church along the lines of prayer and he says if anyone is anyone among you afflicted he says let him pray then he says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much so prayer is a platform to obtain requests and to make petitions the third assignment of prayer as revealed from scripture is as a spiritual platform for warfare and intercession paul was mentoring the church in ephesus and he began to describe to them he said that um, in when you get to chapter 6 of ephesians he began to teach them about the warfare dimension of the believers journey he says to be strong in the lord and to derive your strength amplified says draw your strength from your union with him then he begins to say that we wrestle not against flesh and blood he lists the the structure of the satanic kingdom and he lets the believer know that it is within your power to ward off the forces and the arsenals of hell through the power of the intercessory and the warfare dimension of prayer if you do not know how to pray you may not be able to ward off the arsenals of hell that try to impede and to thwart the purposes of god over your life hallelujah the last assignment of prayer as revealed in scripture is for creation and spiritual legislation that prayer is a platform where we can create possibilities creation did not stop on the seventh day god only rested now he's mandated us to become extensions of his creative ability even god who quickened the dead and that he is able to call the things that be not as though they were so in prayer we can declare and it happens i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound bone began to come to his bone and i prophesied again and life came it was an exceeding great army when you do not know how to pray you will not know how to legislate and 
create spiritual possibilities in your life are we blessed so the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer the primary tools given by Jesus himself and even the apostles for the growth and the maturity of the believer remember I discussed with us the temptation of Jesus that although Jesus was the word he still submitted himself to prayer and fasting that he was the word was no excuse and strangely that after his prayer and fasting you would think Satan will run away from him with all the prayer and the fasting the first person he met after he was done was Satan and he did not say I prayed as the basis for sending Satan away he said it is written hallelujah so I think that's a fair recap for yesterday this is for those who were not able to make it we had the time to pray and we thank God for the move of his spirit in our midst this morning very briefly it's just a charge it's a miracle service so I'll be praying by the way did they write a, a request okay um, if for those inside and outside how many of you have your prayer requests now if you didn't write your prayer request you still have the liberty to quickly do that while we're teaching the ushers who collate it those outside especially you can quickly write your prayer requests why do we write our requests it's just a prophetic act according to philippians 4 and verse 6 the bible says to let our request be made known don't assume god knows it it says let your request be made known hallelujah we'll collate it here and i'll be praying on it um and trusting god to release miracles in jesus name so for this morning we'll look at romans 15 and verse 19 just one scripture and then we'll begin to pray I will lift my voice and I will sing. I will sing holy. I will sing holy. To my Lord and Savior, my God and King, I will sing holy. I will sing holy and I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and this and this to come I will sing before you strong forever. Your holy, your holy, your holy. Be lifted high, be lifted high, oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are Romans 15 19 let's read together if we can see it projected as loud as you can ready read in mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Christ he says in mighty signs and wonders 
and even by the power of the Holy Spirit so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel that means the gospel is not fully preached until there is the dimension of it that captures signs and wonders he says that the gospel is not only a message there is a component to the gospel that completes it to be called the full gospel that if the gospel is only a proposition of words it is not complete in signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and round about to Illyricum I have fully preached to fully preach means to declare the truth of God's Word and back it up with the power that performs that means the communication of faith that just stops as an intelligent exegesis of scripture without the power of God to prove the things that have been proposed is not the full gospel are we together the gospel that is complete is the gospel that proposes the truth as written in scripture and then gives the Holy Spirit an opportunity to bring life and power to that which was proposed I believe in the power of God I believe in miracles signs and wonders as tokens and testaments of the truthfulness of what we propose as written in scripture I believe in the God that acts not just the God that speaks God does not speak alone he acts and listen the gospel that we preach is one that must allow us to both hear and see the gospel that is limited to hearing alone is not the full gospel if it is the gospel that is backed up with the power of God you will both hear and you will see Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 we're going to begin to pray now then Philip went down to the city of Samaria the Bible says and preached Christ unto them the Bible says when he went to Samaria he started by preaching Christ unto them verse 6 the Bible says the multitudes let's read it together verse 6 ready one to read and the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip uh-huh hearing and seeing one more time hearing and one more time hearing and they didn't just hear what he was saying they had an opportunity to see a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did that means when it comes to miracles you don't just say people should not just hear there must be a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles seven the Bible says for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were demonized or possessed and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed as a result there was great joy in that city when the gospel is fully preached the end of it is that there must be joy not just to individuals not just to families but even to the whole city Philip went down to Samaria and if all he did was just to declare the truth of scripture they would live with lots of doubts and fears but the Bible says the people gave attention hearing and seeing I believe in the God whose power can be demonstrated I believe in the truth of scripture now whilst the fundamental basis of our pursuit of God is not miracle signs and wonders we love him and we seek him because of who he is however like I would always point out 
miracles signs and wonders are consolations to our christian experience they help and remind us that the god that we serve is a living god are we together yes the god that we serve is not dead the god that we serve is alive but how can we prove that he's alive except by the multifaceted the manifold communication of the wisdom of god revealed the bible says that all these things a display of the wisdom and the power of god all together they walk ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of god we need to see and know the manifold wisdom of god this morning you have left your jobs some of you have shut down your shops you've shut down your businesses some of you took excuses off work i was so humbled when um they were bringing me in and i saw people outside several people and i said this is a representation of hunger it will be evil and unfair for you to go back the way you came and i tell you until we bring a display of the power of god with testimonies and provable results like never seen we have no right to tell people to stop going to shrines we have no right to tell people to stop consulting with dark powers all those who stopped them in the bible brought an alternative that was superior and provable we cannot tell people stop visiting herbalists stop visiting native doctors and then they stop that and come and we give them nothing this bible was a demonstration of the power of light over darkness can I tell you sincerely, my dear people, do not forbear with pain. God still brings an end to captivity. Do not allow the limitations around your life. Don't build a theology around your limitation to mean God cannot. No, 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 no. This morning I have come very briefly to roll away that stone. It is possible for Lazarus to still come out. Even though he had been there three days. He said, roll away the stone. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's none like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger Lord, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power, our God. Listen, think with me for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, how beautiful it will be for someone to mock you while you are on your way to church and you return back home with a provable testimony. You are going to that your church again and then you return back and say, these are some of the benefits of serving the Lord he said bless the Lord oh my soul and in blessing him forget not there are benefits to serving him are we together now watch me when a visitor comes to your house he doesn't come to your house to eat he may come to your house for an important meeting however there are benefits he most likely would come and meet a table prepared is that true especially if he comes to spend time you are deliberating on something political or whatever it is but somewhere there we call it item seven item people come for weddings they don't necessarily come to eat 
even burials people you are thoughtful that although people are crying you still will leave a provision to cater for their welfare if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children the bible says how much more shall your heavenly father in god's mind the proof of fatherhood is not having children the proof of fatherhood is the ease to give that means the moment your hand withholds you are not abba you are not a giver so every time we are gathered before our father he longs to demonstrate his fatherhood can i tell you this miracles and signs and wonders listen carefully before we begin to pray every time you receive a supernatural touch from god a testimony whether over your health your finances or any aspect of your life i will tell you we must learn to discern the supernatural every miracle you receive even that which you will receive now in it is a letter from god to you you must understand what he writes on miracles there are two things that is written on this letter that you call a miracle number one i love you every time you experience the miraculous power of god contained in that miracle is a letter from heaven to you attesting to the fact that god is love when he heals he reveals through healing that he is love when he restores he reveals through restoration that he is love when he lifts when he anoints no matter what the supernatural manifestation is the first message that comes with every performance of god in the life of an individual more so a believer is i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness message number two every time god reveals his power in the midst of his people he is reminding you that he is god because you see your challenges have a way of magnifying themselves and because of the longevity of their presence they can demean and downplay the power of god so he reminds you by that spectacular manifestation of his power that in spite of all that the devil has done i still remain as god these are two messages you must discern every time you see the miraculous listen to me if you receive miracles without receiving the letter that comes with them it does not bless you the letter that comes with the miracle is as important as the miracle so when God lifts when God saves when God blesses when God transforms when God heals when god opens doors in all of this he's telling you that number one gombe state and whatever family and whatever individual i love you and then number two he reminds you that i am god sometimes we can forget that he's god almighty el shaddai the multi-breasted one the train of his robe fills the temple that's what isaiah saw and the cloud of heavenly worshipers surrounding your throne we join with them now crying holy holy is the lamb the lamb of god i see I see the Lord exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. For my eyes have seen the King. It's the Lamb upon the throne reigns forever I have seen the power of God in my life as I travel from region to region you would think that after many years of seeing the power of God you will get used to it the power of God is like breathing 
you've been breathing from the day you were born and yet you never get used to it it is new it is spectacular with every scene i have seen god lift people i have seen god turn lives around but i still stand amazed at what the power of god can do i assure you by the god of heaven that this god we serve is powerful that's why i sang the song that i sang yesterday that i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that baba wani kamaruka i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that baba wani listen have you seen the way God lifts? Ask Esther. Have you seen the way God heals? Ask the man who was born blind and the one who had been 38 years. Have you seen the way God restores? Ask Job in the Bible. Have you seen the way God prospers? Ask Abraham. Have you seen the way God is able to wipe the tears of people? Ask Elizabeth. Ask Hannah. Have you seen the way God is able to restore joy to a family? Ask the widow at name. All the men in her life went and the last one was about to go. But when she met him, he said, no, not so. Let's return back. And brought life. This is the God that we are talking about. Listen, you may be seated here saying, Apostle, you don't know the kind of family I'm coming from. Listen, I present to you this one who is fearfully mighty. When he arises from his throne on your behalf, woe betides the force that stands in between you and his love. We are going to pray. I will be praying over your requests and I will be speaking over your life. Lend me a minute or two and let me teach you a formula for receiving from the anointing and from receiving from God. The Bible mandates according to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says that everybody who comes to God must number one, come believing that he is, he exists. He exists you can come to God doubting and hoping is he real he says that you must believe that he exists and then number two you must believe that he's a rewarder it's not just what he does it is his name he's a rewarder he is that benevolent that he will never call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain if he calls you then he's ready to reward. I'm seeing a smoke of his presence here. And listen, the Lord is telling me, we're going to pray shortly, that there is a grace for speed. Listen, and when I begin to pray and I release that word, please ushers, help those under the anointing because people will start running. You will be amazed. They are not doing it on their own. And I want you to bring them out. It's a grace. God can shift a man from where you are. He can take 10 years and put it in one year. And the Lord has spoken to me that he's releasing the grace for speed. I stretch my hands. May that grace right now. I'm seeing the number 35. Upon 35 people, that anointing and that grace is coming. Let that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Speed, bring them out by the Spirit of the Living God. Please bring them out. Such an anointing for speed, you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to your life. Speed in life and destiny, speed in ministry. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab 
down to Jezreel. While you bring them out, let me teach you something before I wrap up what I'm saying. You see, the, the zenith of dominion in this kingdom is dominion over time. Dominion over things is wonderful. But when you have dominion over time, my God, I'm seeing this anointing fall. I'm seeing the number 35 on 35 people. That means embargoes of delay. There are many of you, nothing is growing in your life except your age. The only thing growing and increasing in your life is your age. But this mantle is resting upon you now. Wherever you are, whether you are inside or outside, receive that grace right now. Even by the Spirit of God. Speed coming upon you in ministry, in destiny. Now pay attention. The Bible says everyone who must come to God must come believing that number one, he exists. And number two, he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Receiving a miracle from God, listen carefully. It mandates that there are two principal conditions that must be met. Number one, you must believe in the God of heaven as Father, Abba, the source, the sustainer, and the giver of every good thing. Number two, you must believe in the vessel who becomes the expression of his power. That when you believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. But that you believe in his servants, his prophets, and you prosper. You can believe in God and not believe in the vessel he's using. You will not receive anything. You need to believe in the God of heaven who is the giver of all things. And then you must believe in his prophets. I believe that God sent me here to this city and even this morning at this miracle service because someone's life is about to change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands in one minute and ask the Lord to touch you in a way that will bring glory to his name. Some of you over your health, some of you over your finances, go ahead and pray in one minute. I want to begin to minister to you now. Mighty God. Holy, holy, go ahead and pray. Are you Lord God Almighty? Where is the man? You are who. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I raised this song, I just saw like light just going towards the minister session. I just saw like light. And I don't know who, but there is, there is, I'm seeing at least three men of God. The Lord is saying, I saw this same thing when I was ministering in Joss. Ministering in Joss. That a season is coming to an end and another season is beginning this is what I saw I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I release you by the power of God step into that new season help them please step into that new season even by the Spirit of the Living God step into that new season in the name of Jesus Christ Now, the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Please hear me. 
I want to rebuke every spirit that is standing the way of your blessing at the count of three inside and outside I want you to shout the name Jesus and at the shout of that name every spirit that is not of the Christ must give way are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command every spirit every devil of darkness give way now by the power of the Holy Ghost I bring deliverance to families I bring deliverance to destinies be set free now every planting that is not by God it gives way by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command every spirit and every yoke give way now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out goodness my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i'm still praying the lord is showing me the lord is showing me families here where it looks like only one or two people get to rise out of those families and just when they're about to settle they just crash down i'm praying right now i don't know who is a victim of this right now i stretch my hands may that fire from heaven rest upon you right now i break that chain right now help them please i break that chain right now i break that chain right now limitations over families be broken in the name of jesus limitations be broken in the name of jesus hallelujah who is by the name rachel i'm hearing the name rachel i want to pray for the sick shortly but just to minister to one or two people i'm hearing a name rachel the lord wants to visit that family in a very mighty way who is rachel please make sure you verify don't just come out carelessly rachel Madam, point this woman wearing green. That woman, what is your name? Come, you are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you, but please help, somebody help me verify. I don't know who that Mama. Okay. What is her name? What is your name, madam? Okay. I want to pray for you. Yes. What's your name, ma? Rachel. Your name is Rachel. The Lord wants to bring salvation to your family. You believe that? I, I will believe. pray for you. Mama, please look at me. God wants to take something out of your body. Huh? Is that true? There is something God wants to remove from your body. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't remove the... I didn't even know she was wearing... In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Salvation comes to your household by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact for every other person standing in as Rachel in the name of jesus be delivered now in the name of jesus be delivered now is there somebody called yakubu i'm hearing a name yakubu yakubu please if it's not your name don't come out so that we save time 
it's a brief session the miracle service Yakubu, is there someone like that you are wearing like a monkey jacket or something like that Yakubu. what's your name Yakubu. from where from kaduna The Lord is showing me someone. Please don't be offended. I'm not trying to get you emotional. Your loved one right now as I'm talking is part of some people that they kidnapped. Who is that? Like, I think they were on the road or so and they kidnapped them. There's somebody like that. We need to pray. Is there, is there someone like that? The Lord is just revealing this to me. Not, not within Gombe here. But you have a loved one. Is part of those they are trusting God for right now to even raise some money. To be able to set them free we want to pray so that god will preserve them my friend what do you do i'm a teacher you're a teacher i want to pray for you what did you study mathematics huh mathematics in the name of jesus i'm not seeing you stand long doing teaching at all i'm seeing god lift you in fact not even in this city in the name of jesus i pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord honor you. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Please, all the prayer requests, you can collate them and just bring them to the front now. All of you who are trusting God for healing, wherever you are, inside or outside, I believe in miracles. Lay your hands. Make contact with any part of your body. I want to pray for you. You don't have to come out. Just where you are, lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Huh? Along the road to um, Benue. They kidnapped them. They kidnapped him. Who is brother. that? Your brother? Yes. How long? And um, his last day. Uh, last day. Is he still there? No. He spent about two, getting to three months. Is he back now? That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. The one I'm talking about is still there. May God preserve your family in Jesus' name. But when you find somebody, I'm somebody, a loved one, I'm just walking based on what God has revealed to me. Hallelujah. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And I want you to believe in the power of this prayer. The Lord is going to bring you healing right now. I hear the chains falling I hear the chains In the name of Jesus Christ Shout a loud Amen Gombe In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ right now i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity here by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare right now i command that spirit let god's people go now out of their lives out of their bodies now out of their lives out of their bodies now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headache be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every blind eyes be open now in jesus name deaf ears be open now in jesus name everyone having any bone condition 
in the name of Jesus whether you're on crutches you're in a wheelchair bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every problem with your spine I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed in Jesus name every growth in your body I command that growth to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now cancers and tumors be healed now recurrent migraine headache it comes and goes it comes and goes be healed now urinary problems i'm seeing somebody you have a problem frequent urination in the name of jesus i declare be healed now there's someone you are not blind but you are beginning to have a problem with your eyes you see like scales on your eyes it's as if you are seeing a vision but it's physical you are seeing lines and like scales in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now there's someone I don't know it's like you have something on your toe it's like a fungal infection but it has refused to heal in the name of Jesus I am praying for you right now let the power of God touch you right where you are make sure you are receiving I'm going to ask you to check yourself shortly and then we'll have a few testimonies here before we pray over the requests there's someone you have is like pile but this is a very severe in fact it's, it's an issue that most likely may require surgery because with what I'm seeing um, is is quite an advanced stage of pile right now the power of God is touching you heart palpitations you have a problem breathing sometimes it's as if you are gasping for breath I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now is it I don't know if it's a boil or a swelling inside or around your armpit the power of God is touching you right now supernatural healing for you in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me someone just your left the left side of the, your left leg just right here I'm seeing that it's like your kneecap there's something wrong with it you are not able to walk well the moment I ask you to start doing what you could not do, take a step of faith, you will find out that the healing power of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is someone you are beginning to have a severe case of partial stroke. If you came here on crutches or probably a wheelchair, I want you to take a step of faith, lift it up and try walking whatever it is don't force them sir walk lift it where's his crotch turn back and walk lift it up every other person with a crotch lift it up and walk whether it's stick any walking aid lift it up and walk in the name of jesus christ are you celebrating miracles lift it up and walk don't force them please don't force anyone once there's no strength just allow them but in the name of Jesus I declare there's someone your left eye you could not see well right now you will see that a miracle has happened now begin to check yourself do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do you couldn't move parts of your body move it right now 
Move it right now. Move it right now. Move it right now. Now, here's what I want you to do for me. Please listen. Listen, everyone. Check yourself. There are miracles happening inside and outside. This is what I want you to do for me. The moment you find out that you have received a miracle, something you could not do, the power of God has touched you. I want you to come out. Just come and stand here at my left where Laura is. And then some of you, you may want to stand just where the stage is there. There will be pastors to check you and will take the testimonies. Those outside, inside. Right now, I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out that the healing power of God has touched you, something that you couldn't do, you couldn't see, now you can see, you couldn't hear, you couldn't smell, whatever miracles, celebrate them as they go. Move either to my left or right. Please, whether they are coming from outside, once they have been healed, ushers clear the way for them. Let's celebrate miracles. God is touching people here. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Keep coming, Jesus, Creator of sin. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are in. Like there's a miracle at the back there. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Check yourself, my God. Are you celebrating what God is doing? You couldn't bend, try to bend now. You couldn't lift your leg celebrate what jesus is doing we'll take a few testimonies whether by my left or right outside anywhere ushers pastors just help us coordinate these people and let's celebrate what god is doing in our midst there's someone you i'm literally feeling that pain on my right ear it's like you don't hear well or so or you don't hear at all with your right ear in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring, may that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. Can we take a few testimonies? Now, okay. While we take the testimonies, I'm seeing all of these miracles. Now, please hear me. Look up, please. Make sure you don't, don't, when people are healed, they are healed. Don't put anyone under pressure. Are we together when you lift them and it looks like they have no strength just keep them there and make sure that you only bring out people who have been healed and touched by the power of god we are not we are not stage managing anything here my friend what happened to you i'm looking at this man's leg what happened to you my eyes just went to his he just come like this i don't know what is happening you can't walk how long has this been? It's taking to two years to. Three. Let me see how you walk. Ah, that's serious. Look at. Please help those under the anointing outside. The name of Jesus. I decree and declare may the power of God touch you in Jesus' name. Now, you see, when we pray like this, when you are on a wheelchair or you are on crutches, watch this now. What you are supposed to do is try to take a step of faith. When you find out that there's pain or you are not relieved, you can always calm down while you continue to release your faith, right? So that you don't leave people worse than you met them. No, it's, it's, it's wrong for you to, the power of God moves to touch people at various levels. So those who are helping them, make sure you don't inconvenience them and put them like this man once you are healed you can see that you can do what you could not do as clear as simple as that are we together now praise god okay let's take a few testimonies to celebrate what god has done yes please this lady came here yesterday that there's a moving object in her stomach moving her object yes, how long my dear it's getting to two years now three years 
What happens to you? Yes, I was, since I got married, I start calling. Are there some other people outside? Okay. I just needed to know if perhaps those who came from outside, you can still join them. The power of God has touched you. Even if we are not able to exhaust all the testimonies now, you can still testify in your various churches. The most important thing is what Jesus did. Go ahead. Can you help us with the sound? Sound people. Okay. Praise the Lord. When I, when I came here yesterday, man of God said, some will receive their healings today. Because when I lie down on my tummy, I feel as if something is moving on my tummy. And right now, what happened? Yesterday, when I even go back yesterday, I lie down on my tummy, I couldn't feel it. Today, Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, may it never return to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Next person, please. So you made mention of fungal infection. On yes. The this is the man. Yes. And How the long? Lady, and the lady too. And the lady. It's more than eight years now. More than eight years. What is it like? Um, the, the little finger on my toes. There is a growth in between the last one and the one that is following. So whenever I put on any shoe, once the two compress together, I'll be feeling serious pain. Check it. Any pain now? I have now? Check it. I have compressed it now. No pain. pain. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? He also had the eyes. The Your eyes? For how long? It has been long. Very in, long. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has healed you, perfects everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. The same fungal infection on her feet, but it has disappeared. She had... Um, she had it darkened the toes, her toenails, for 17 years. For 17 years? And what happened now? I Nothing is there again. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. He talked about palpitations. Palpitations. He Heart palpitations. Yes, sir. For how long? It has been a year now. Breathe in and out. In and out, any pain, completely. I decree and declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. He's the left ear, right ear, like you mentioned, the right There ear. is, I just saw, there is a lady, the right, you have a lung, the right side of your breast. I want you to check it now. You will find out that it's gone. I just saw this while, check it now. You'll find out that that devil has left your body once and for all. You find out that that miracle has happened, you can come and testify. Go ahead. Let's have a few more and then, okay, go ahead. Sir, my right ear, when you talked about the right ear, I don't hear clearly for about five years now with the right ear. Which of the ears? The right ear, sir. And now what happened? Now I can hear clearly. It's no, opened. No buzzing noise anymore. Place your hand, the one that had a problem. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you, even by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. This brother came with, uh, he had an ulcer for more than two years. But ulcer? After, yes, sir. But after the prayers, it has gone. Who is here? You play football professionally. Football. Football. Professional. I'm not saying you just play in the evening when you are, you are back from work. Professionally. Is there someone like that? I just saw that. Come, your life is about to change. Who is the person? You are a footballer, professionally. What's your name? Huh? Maurice, how long have you how, how long have you played football? For about five years now. Where are you currently? I'm in Gombe, but I'm not with the Gombe United. I'm in, with Doma United now. Look at me. Do you believe in the power of God? You believe God can help men? The Lord put it in my heart to pray for you and I want to pray for you. Listen, there is a grace that enthrones. There is a grace that can lift you right from where you are. 
and take you to the nations of the earth I stretch my hands and I pray for you that when you get there you will not forget God oh. say amen because many people rise they get there and once in the presence of glitz and glamour they just throw everything that is God it's a caution for everyone too as God lifts you the Bible says do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this but thou shall remember if he says thou shall remember it means you can forget father I stretch my hands over your dear son in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I release you with this grace may doors open for you beyond your imagination within this nation and outside this nation may God give your career wings in the spirit in the name of Jesus let it be so by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name yes please when I came here in the morning, I was feeling pain in my stomach. Pain? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. As after the prayer, I can't feel anything. Completely gone. Yes. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now. Hold yes, it. Yes, sir. She has the pain and swollen, um, she had a swollen armpit, a swelling in her armpit for like three years. Like for like three years? Yes, sir. And it's gone. And what happened now? It's gone, sir. Completely. Are you celebrating what God is doing? Which of, which of the, place your hand there, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that pain leaves you now, never to return, in the name of Jesus. And I'm seeing God remove something from your body. I command it to go out now of your body by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Let's take a few more. This, this man, I'd like to hear his testimony. How long have you been on these crutches? November last year. What happened to you, sir? I motor accident. Oh dear. Yeah. May God protect you on the road. Yeah. May God protect you in the air. Yeah. May God protect you on water. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no evil come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ. For this that the Lord has done, we give him all the glory. And we declare supernatural perfection your miracle remains with you to the glory of the name of the Lord in Jesus name I pray let's see how we can take a few more and then we'll just pray and I speak over your he life had yes. difficulties, um, swallowing swallowing he just yes he said whenever he feels it he tries to take in water to just push and right now he's feeling praise God straight to the point last year in July what happened is that when that is a place to your hand wherever you are feeling yes it, i placed my hand in my throat because i can't even take water up to half one sachet but now i can drink two sachets that's right when did you test yourself yes, I, I test myself when. in the name of jesus christ supernatural perfection for you by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ yes please she had palpitations palpitations yes there is someone I'm seeing. You see how my hands are shaking? That's how your hands shake. The power of God wants to touch you. I'm seeing someone like that. I don't know who, but the, the same way you see my hands shake, that's how it's like, I don't know if it's some kind of sickness. Who is that person? The power of God is touching you right now, bringing you healing. We command that demonic thing to live now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Help them. This madam too, the power of God is coming on her. I declare healing. I don't know the name of that medical condition, but I command that spirit out of you now. In the name that is above all names. Be made whole right now. In Jesus name. Let's see if we can take three or four more very quickly for sake of time. Some of these are mothers. Let me have one or two from them. I, I want to know sir. what has happened. Pile. Pile. For more than 15 years. My goodness. What happened to you, my dear? It, it, it's more than 15 years. They grow in my private parts, three of them. And it's paining me. Even yesterday that I come, it's paining me very serious. And now I'm not feeling anything. Oh, my God. More than 15 years. 
enduring this kind of pain in the name that is above all names i declare perfection for you that devil lets you go and he will never never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly this lady here that she had a pain for so many years but she like, had uh, for how long my dear who brought her 20 years who brought her? Who is the witness? Who? That her grandmother put something in her stomach. While she her grandfather. In the mother. Grandmother put something in her stomach for a oh very my. long time. For your grandmother put something in your in stomach. stomach. Yes, you see that this, 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 this is the kind of thing that we are saying. Now the grandmother may not be wicked, but it's just that this is this is why the gospel is important to reach everywhere, because some of these. Probably she may have done it in hope to protect her or give some kind of thing. Every planting that is not of God roaming around your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that it gets out of your body now. You can see that this one is not ordinary stomach pain. No. Some of our parents and grandfathers may do certain things sincerely, but then these things would now backfire because... Place your hand there, my dear. You can see how she's even weak. How long has this been? 20 years. For 20 years. Look at me. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Lay your hands there. I command that thing now whatever it is right now out of her in the name of jesus christ blotting out every handwriting the bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross i administer the ministry of the blood and by it we break every legal access that satan has over your body in the name of jesus christ i set you free right now i set you free now my dear Look at me. Look at me. Run. Run. Look at. Look at this. This is someone who could not even sit down there. Look at the lady is crying. 20 years of this demonic captivity. My dear, any pain now? Check it. No, no, no. Any pain? <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> the sun sets you free. Indeed, you are free. You see, let me tell you when something is of a demonic origin, there is no amount of medical attention that will solve it. You will think this lady just has a medical condition. This is a demonic thing. Yes, please. Pile for about three. How many years? Who is that? So she cannot sit down. This mama. Mama? Yes, she cannot sit what down. What happened to you? Pile right from my bed. Right from bed? Yes. Can you imagine a woman this age? Tell me that it's an inherited pile. Inherited pile. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let's... For, for how long, Mama? 51 years now. Oh, my God. And what happened now? Now I'm feeling nothing. <sighs> so it comes to people by inheritance. That's what they told you. Listen, stand up, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, please receive this prayer everything connecting you with enchantments and operations of witchcraft by the blood of the eternal covenant here at this conference be separated from them now be separated from them now every backlog of demonic inheritance transferred to you as ill health transferred to you help them please as failure 
in the name of Jesus we break it right now please hear me just help those under the anointing you see that most of the problems of people come from some of these trado African practices now there are healthy practices of morality and respect but there are demonic practices madam lay your hands let me seal that miracle for you lay your hands on your stomach as a point of contact please look at me in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I use you as a point of contact to everyone connected to your family we break that demonic thing now after 51 years Jesus sets you free and indeed he has set you free you remain free forever hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom but I want us to pray while I was praying for this woman I saw a politician in this city moving with a convoy and I saw a ghastly motor accident I just saw blood the Lord is asking me that we pray I'm not a prophet of doom when God reveals like this is because salvation has come this is not to plan fear that thing that looks like an ordinary accident is a demonic thing because this same spirit is planted all across the nation to destroy certain people just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit whoever is the politician concerned we use some of our politicians here as points of contact may the Lord preserve their life in the name of Jesus you are preserved from the waster preserved from the scourging tongues of men in the name of Jesus Christ let's have one or two more then we can quickly pray growth in the breast growth madam how long January January you started sensing the lump I used to feel it I went to hospital they gave me drugs I used to feel it but today daddy talked that everyone have lungs in the breast you should touch it and touch it it's gone You've checked it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for you. Right now in Jesus' name. Can we take one more? And my then... green for five years. How long, my dear? Five years, sir. Five years. Sometimes I cannot even attend lectures. I'll be feeling headache if I start. You are a student? Yes, sir. Where? University of Meduguri. Okay. You can't attend lecture because of it. Sometimes if I wake up, I have to spend like five minutes before I stand. Place your hand on your head. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bring you liberty by the power of God. You are healed now and you remain healed forever. Now for sake of time, I pray for all of you who have come out and others who could not make it out. In the name of Jesus, the healings you have received remain permanent in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me please and begin to pray i'm going to be praying over these requests if you are yet to submit yours please those outside have they submitted their own if you are yet to submit yours just wave your own request and an usher will pick it very quickly and they'll bring it here right now i want to pray for you now on to the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound, we raise a sound For he is God and God alone Hallelujah, hallelujah Please very quickly submit your prayer request so that we begin to pray Now on to the Lamb upon the throne We raise a sound the nations of the earth hallelujah I believe in the God that answers prayers and I want you to stretch your hands here right now and begin to declare that the Egyptians I see today I see them no more forever go ahead you just stretch your hands I will bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray you don't have to kneel I'll do the kneeling for you let it be from the depth of your heart declare that everything I've written here must return as a testimony are you praying 
are you praying are you praying she pranta katus kete prete keti balakusia father in the name of jesus visit your people please believe it this is not just some church ritual we are doing god answers prayers Shaparus kati branda gaboru shiketi. agree with me as I pray when I say in Jesus name I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice are you ready in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever you will see them no more forever hear me every spirit that is back of the challenges here written we command their final exodus from your life every human agent who must be in partnership with the Holy Spirit to grant answers to this request we compel their ministry right now for those trusting God for open doors may doors be opened by this prayer let shame and reproach come to an end hear me anybody holding what is yours by the power that raised Christ from the dead we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until you become the rightful possessor of that blessing please believe in this prayer you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you after this conference every garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus we tear off that garment right now prophetically I stand upon this prayer request everything that has stood upon your life to cause you stress I bring it under the feet of Jesus I bring it under the feet of Jesus whatever has delayed your destiny helper from reaching you men and women ordained of God to hold your hands and help you wherever they are across Kombe in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I command them to appear now <laughs> hallelujah please listen carefully I pray especially for the young men in this city the spirit that stops young men from being established 
that people just continue to grow old and they are still staying in their parents' homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release upon you the grace for structural establishment. Hallelujah. You see, I want you to pay attention. We're wrapping up. There is a spirit that has plagued the northeast and the middle belt from drunkenness to irresponsibility to complacency and mediocrity. These are wicked spirits that sabotage the glorious destinies of people. People can be abroad for 30 years and return back as if they've never crossed out of a city. In the name of Jesus, everyone under the trap and the influence of that spirit, I command be free from it now. Be free from it now. I arrest the spirit of death that keeps killing people in families. I decree and declare everyone will live the fullness of their days. Hallelujah. For the election that is coming, may God give you leaders in this city that will help to sponsor development. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone who means well for the name of the Lord and for the welfare of the people, may God give them a chance to rise. And anybody who will cause pain to God's people and cause pain to the work of the cross, I stand by the apostolic anointing and I declare that anyone that is not for God and for the well-being of people in this land will never remain up again in the name of Jesus. a politician I don't do politics but every time I get to talk to politicians I tell them let's be governed by the fear of the Lord let's be governed by conscience and let's be governed by a sense of posterity there are people who have a sincere desire to help and bless we pray that God will lift you in the name of Jesus Christ can I rebuke the spirit of poverty don't say it doesn't matter. That is already an attack. If you think it does not matter, it's an attack on your life. In the name of Jesus, God who is able to show men mercy and give them the wisdom and the grace to be productive alongside the favor to prosper. In the name of Jesus, may that God visit you now. Let's pray for the church in Gombe. By the church in Gombe, I mean every man of God and every assembly that names the name of Christ. Listen very carefully. Remember my opening statement? If Pastor A wins and Pastor B loses, the church lost. It is only when Pastor A and Pastor B together are effectively lifting up the name of Jesus. Can I tell you this? Thank God for the leaders and the fathers of faith that are here. Never become a tool for the division of the body of Christ. We may differ here and there based on our convictions. We may not agree here and there. But provided we agree that Jesus is Lord, the Savior and the soon coming King, is enough point of unity. Are we together now? The truth is that as far as ministry is concerned, we differ in our levels of graces and the various levels of our interest in the things of God, which ultimately culminates to the variety of anointings and graces that work in our lives. But can I tell you, if you are a great man and God has helped you and you are seeing results, do not downplay anyone. Even if all you have is two members, the price of every one member is the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah that the spirit of competition 
competitive jealousy i am better than this i'm anointed we banish it from this city and let me speak to us respectfully because sometimes it's members that cause trouble to men of god when you begin to sing praises and say saul killed one thousand and david killed ten thousand you will cause trouble between saul and david we may not all do the same thing at the same level but every single one of us is serving jesus in truth and i tell you you may think that the joshua selmans are the ones doing ministry it's until the day jesus comes you will see that there was an a nameless faceless intercessor who prayed these people you can clap for jesus for doing a great work but do not forget anna the prophetess do not forget john the baptist and especially some of us who are younger in ministry make sure you respect the fathers don't look at them and say they don't have any revelation no anointing they have character that most of our young people don't have they have leadership they have been there for 30 40 50 years risk their life serving the lord every father of faith in this land is deserving of honor from everyone do not give honor just on the basis of revelation or crowd or membership anyone who has served the lord and served the kingdom is deserving of your honor are we together the father should also honor the sons because just you see generally you see the current move of god always fights the next move of god fathers too respectfully speaking must be cautious when you see young people that god is using mightily don't downplay what god is doing because if you fight them and they still succeed you will spend your life living in shame it's better to identify those that god is helping and just fine tune some of their excesses a young man may have a lot of character issues but it does not mean he's not anointed rather than throwing them away and then they go and find god by his mercy and now you will end up in shame for prophesying they will not succeed and yet they succeeded young people don't fight the fathers because someone is falling under the anointing in your meeting it takes more than falling and rising to remain there is a stamina and a skill that only eli can teach samuel even though samuel will be the prophet who will ordain saul and david he still needs eli to know the voice of god hallelujah gombe state walk in unity walk in unity walk in unity those who god has helped and prospered you are a big man not just by the amount of cars you have but by the amount of lives you are transforming the measure of your being big is not in acquisition it's in impact is god helping us parents be responsible over your children don't give birth to children and hand them over to government and people to take care of for you send your children to school encourage them to go to school let them see the value of education and if it will eventually culminate to a great life and for those who may not be doing well in school don't discourage them encourage them because there is hope for a tree even if it be caution are we together yes encourage responsibility i'm challenging those of us who are in government put programs that help young people to be responsible all this roaming around is why crime rate will continue to increase the young people must be meaningfully engaged there must be programs that stimulate development and stimulate creativity and in truth no government can do it alone and so we pray that god will attract businessmen and attract people who have the passion to change this territory there are many people from your soil that are successful may god bring them back to come and contribute to the growth of the place it's not a foreigner that will come and build your land foreigners will only assist but god must raise indigenous people and empower them with the spirit of god let's shun laziness an entitlement mentality 
don't wait for the government i don't care whether it's whatever political party that one is none of my business every government demands responsibility from citizens to maximize the government no government on its own will be able to produce the best of citizens citizens must take responsibility many of you are young people here you may not have the privilege as is on strike you can go into farming god has blessed us with good soil go into farming and and be responsible begging around will bring to stealing and all kinds of vices that are not of god are we together and for the men and the women of god may god grant us grace to continue to do ministry with integrity in the name of jesus christ that every pulpit will be an altar a platform for salvation for transformation for empowerment in the name of the lord jesus christ finally we pray for gombe state father we lift up this state before you you have called it a jewel in the savannah may it speak as it is called in the name of jesus i pray prophetically for gombe may strange mineral resources be discovered on your soil we are tracked by prophecy the presence of strategic investors both local and foreign to come and invest in your land in the name of jesus christ and i pray even for the ministers of the gospel they are the shapers of the spiritual convictions of people here may god raise help for them so that they can stand strong as they preach in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus now this is my final session i heard from here to bauchi but i will not end this conference and this crusade as you may call it without giving someone a chance to come to jesus we didn't have the time to make an altar call yesterday but there are people outside multitudes of people outside some of you across the balcony i see you and some who are standing here please no movement let's stand is the last call and you are saying apostle do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to start afresh with jesus for some of you you are saying i've been around the things of church but i have never consciously made a decision for jesus for others you are saying apostle i've given my life to jesus christ but within the last one year my life has gone haywire i need restoration and i need rededication some are outside some are inside for those outside as i make the altar call i will request that you come to the front of your projector screen if there's any or just the front of wherever you are seated and stand there for those inside here who are saying apostle give me a chance to encounter jesus afresh again before this conference ends i'm going to count one to five wherever you are you know that you need jesus i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand right in front here i'll begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come run to jesus two apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed of my friend leave them alone and come to jesus If you're coming please rush for sake of time three those outside i hope you are moving to your screens walk to jesus walk to jesus and this life is in his son and this life is in his son so he who was the son has eternal life he who was the son has eternal life i have the son so i have eternal life who was the son
look at me please all of you in front and those who are following and those who are following from your homes from wherever you may be viewing from here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life he said ye must be born again there is no other name the Bible declares under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved I thank you for making this bold decision to stand before Jesus some of you are making it as a first decision some of you are rededicating your life there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like you are coming to receive an award but this time around is an eternal award the very life of the Son of God may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and pray this prayer after me knowing that Jesus is hearing you and that your profession of faith will culminate to your being a recipient of the life of God say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I ask you to forgive my sin I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i am a child of god i have the life of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you you are able to save even to the uttermost and you have drawn these ones by your spirit they have made their declarations of faith and based on the integrity of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the lord grants you a new beginning i command that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life right now i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit I pray that you'll be grounded and you'll be established in righteousness. The grace to live the victorious Christian life, I impart that grace upon you. You go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's give them a big hand clap. All right, here's what I want you to do. For all of you who have made this decision, may I please request that you just move gallantly to my right, please. Um, pay attention to the base of the crane so it does not injure you let's celebrate them as they go my right which is your left a few counselors will be there to receive you and soon after you'll be back to your seat are you celebrating them hallelujah for one last time let me again appreciate the entire community of the men and the women of God that make up the spiritual voices in this land I honor you sincerely and may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus the PFN the can and then the leadership of house on the rock pastor thank you so so much for the opportunity to be a blessing all our parliamentarians the politicians all the businessmen and all who have come to honor Jesus and to honor what he's doing in our lives to make this conference a success let me lend my voice with um, pastor Sam to say a very big thank you for doing all that you have done for Jesus the labor and the sacrifice of coming and remaining here yesterday I'm told that as early as 4 a.m. there were already people who came here and have been here from that time till now you will never 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 stop testifying from all the miracles that would have happened here and I'm praying that by the Spirit of God even from Gombe State may God raise many who are even greater than Joshua Selman in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that the Lord will bless you I pray that the Lord will increase you in the name of Jesus Christ and for as many of you who have loved ones across um, Bauchi State do invite them and let them know that this evening and tomorrow very early in the morning I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. 
share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.